One of the challenges that I often have when it comes to management and something that if you're a leader of teams that you should, uh, I, I think, always look for is questions. So, so, so when you ever enter a meeting, you can judge the level of critical thinking and caliber of people in the room by the questions that they ask. So because because questions tend to demonstrate a curious mind. Now, you guys can't see it on Zoom, on YouTube or wherever this is, because I'm in a Zoom meeting right now, but I do have my team here. I'll go ahead and unpin myself just so you can see everybody. And I have already actively told this entire team to ask questions. And yet again, nobody has put anything into the chat. So we, of course, team side note, talk about active listening. No one's actively listening. I, again, literally, I've been ignored for the second time. The first time was, uh, hey, guys, how's it going? Small talk. And everyone just said one word, good. And I had to prompt. So again, I'll ask the question, does anyone and everyone should have questions about fundamentally things that they were, they're curious about when it comes to personal or professional or business development? The reason that I'm forcing you to answer this question now by asking a question is because I'm trying to crowbar or force you to develop the curious mind because you should always be questioning things. Is that the way? Maybe there's another way. What way could I do to get to the result? So there's 17 people here, excluding myself, and I'm hoping by the time this speech is over that people have written their questions in and I see 17 sets of questions. So if you're a leader, this is absolutely one of the things that you should be wary of when people say I have no questions because what you're trying to drill into people is that but you must th th there's always questions you must establish the curious mind so to keep to, to be a little bit meta with it the question that I might have in a meeting like this would be the well but what if I don't have any questions? You'd say, well, probably there are. You need to search for it. What if I'm worried about the question? And you'd say, that's that's okay. So direct message the person that's involved. But just think of something. Think of anything. Because it's also about developing that process to always seek out things that you can say that are of value. It's a way to continue to develop the curious mind and to critically think because otherwise what happens is that we tend to enter this what i would call hallucinogenic and passive state where you don't question the nature of what's being told because everyone should have their own perspective okay the 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 the, the holy scriptures the bible the quran that's why interpretations of religious texts exist, because people have their perspectives and say, well, this is what I understand from that, or I don't subscribe to that, or this is my question about that. So I think that if you can mechanically force, because it will feel a bit mechanical at times, your team or the people around you to get into the habit of asking questions, it will bleed into asking intelligent questions in calls. And what do you see in account management, in the sales, in client calls, in life, the people that are often rewarded are the people that seem to ask smart and good questions. And that begins by just getting into the habit of saying, yeah, I've got a question. I've got another question. I've got a third question. I've got a fourth question. I've got 17 questions. I'm so sorry for my questions. And over time, you'll develop that muscle of really actively thinking about what it is that you want to communicate. So again, let me remove my pin there's 17 people in this room and our name call now, Elvine, Sakshi. Mm. Priyanka, Dinesh, Rabil, Evan, Arsalan. Many people aren't asking anything. They're just, they're just ignoring um, the question or the action and Sometimes, for those of you who are watching, you've got to just force people into a corner to produce a result that you're looking for, because there's you, 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 you'll find with it that and 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 that's the second aspect of it. I, I don't say encourage people to ask questions. I, I do say encourage, but at some level, you have to force people to ask questions because you really need to back them into a corner to produce a result that you want. And part of that then relates to what I've historically discussed is that there's different, there's going to be different management styles for different people. Some people just need a 
nod in the right direction. Some people need a big scream and some people need a metaphorical, metaphysical slap around the face because, and, and then, and then after that, you get rid of the people because you say, well, I can't help you anymore because I'm given, I've tried to do my best to give instructions in many different ways, in, in as many different ways as possible. But now I think I've probably got the wrong student. So encourage your team to ask questions and then force them to ask questions and then name call the people that aren't asking questions and observe what that does for your team over time, because it will begin to encourage that muscle that we all need to have is to move from a passive state into an active state when it comes to listening, because you want people to actively be engaged. And the demonstration of that is by the questions that people ask, because you can say, oh, wow, based upon that question you asked, you really fucking listen, I can tell. So fear silence, fear or do, do not accept silence. Do not accept meetings where people don't offer any question, therefore have zero contribution because those people aren't listening. They're not adding value, which also probably means they won't go away and do any of the things that you told them or asked them about because they're just sitting there saying, oh, wow, this is, you know, I feel great. But everything relates to active engagement with the content. We talk about this in education. We talk about that in training. But in a business environment, a lot of leaders seem to fucking forget that your team need to be engaged. Fucking force them to be engaged. You pay them to be engaged. Say, be engaged or don't be here. It's, it's pretty simple. And the measure of that is, what questions do you have? And when people say, oh, I don't have any questions, it's like, were well, you even fucking listening, bro? Because you should always, always, always have questions. It's how... Successful people measure the measure of what's been taken on board based upon the questions that people ask.